week has to do with the power of the bridge. When we talk about bridging, we're often laying on the floor and pressing our hips up, and that's not super practical when you're going around during your day. So my tip of the week is to find a place where you can activate your glutes and posterior chain, which is basically what the bridge does, as well as kind of put you into a nice plank type strength position. So for this week, my recommendation would be to find yourself a wall, or whenever you find a wall, find it and you can lean up against it and just walk your feet out in front of you a little bit and have a seat in your imaginary chair. So here, I could hang out here for a good amount of time. I could make phone calls here. I can take breaks during my work day and standing here. This does a lot of great things for us. It helps us with our posture. So here I've got my shoulders back, my head long, and my neutral spine position, so a little space behind my spine, and my hips pressed against the wall. My heels are digging in, pressing in. So I can hold this position for a good period of time where I can start to feel my legs kick in. If I go down and stick my tail out a little bit more, I'll start to get my glutes on a little bit stronger. Right, and then I can come work my way back up. If you have a slippery wall, you could slide up and down. That would activate even a little bit more. If you are strong and you don't need that wall for support for any reason, you could actually do your squats from here in standing position and really emphasize that glute activation, posterior activation by rocking back to the heels, getting to a deep hip crease, and letting the tail come out. Try not to hunch forward, keeping my spine upright, lowering down, and coming back up. So these are just easy things that you can squeeze into your day to really help activate your muscles, get some oxygen flow, and activate the posterior chain of your body which often gets forgotten and sat upon very often in your day. So trying out little squats. You could also try one leather in a little turnout and that will really get the posterior glutes wrapped in underneath you, sitting down and coming up, sitting down and squeezing up, thinking about squeezing inward as you go. And you could even do this at the bus stop if you didn't care what everyone else thought around you. We all have masks on anyway, so what does it matter? All right, everyone, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you again soon.